In today's tech video, I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror your iPhone to a Roku device. Now this works on a Roku Ultra, Roku Stream Bar, Roku Smart Soundbar, Roku Streaming Stick Plus, and the Roku Premiere. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So I'm going to show you guys the easy way to get anything that's on your iPhone and get it mirrored over to your TV. And you can do this without spending the extra dollars and getting a smart TV. So if you currently have an old TV or if you're looking at getting a new one that doesn't have all the you know latest and greatest technology in it, I'm going to show you how you can still achieve the mirroring effect of getting what's ever on your phone, your iPhone, to the TV. And I'm going to show you how to do that with two simple devices. One is a Roku stick and the other is an Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and dive into the step-by-step -step instructions on how you do this with a Roku stick first, then I'll show you the Fire Stick next. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to mirror your iPhone to your Roku. Roku recently updated their platform so that Apple AirPlay is now built into their devices, making it real easy to mirror without using any kind of third-party apps or anything like that. So the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that your Roku is up to date. So grab your remote control and hit your home button if you're not on the home screen like I am right now. Then go down to where it says settings and then click over and we're going to want to go down all the way to where it says system and then go down to where it says system update you'll click on that and then you'll check now uh, if it's not up to the latest software it will do that at this time go after it's all the way up to date go ahead and click on your home button again take you to the home screen and then we're going to go down to settings and then we're going to go down to this new category right here that says Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. And then click on that. And then now over here on your sidebar, you'll see where it says AirPlay on and off. You wanna make sure that's on on. On the require code, I have it just as first time only. Uh, so if you click on that, you'll see that it gives you options for first time only, every time, or use password instead. So that's all based on preference. I'm gonna keep mine on first time only. And then now that it's set to first time only and on, you're gonna to wanna to jump over to your iPhone. Now, you do wanna make sure that your iPhone and your Roku are set up on both of the same Wi-Fi network. So they have to be on the same local Wi-Fi network. Okay, once you jump over here on your iPhone, you wanna swipe down on the top, top right corner like that, and it brings up your menus icons here. And right here in the middle, you'll see where it says screen mirroring. Go ahead and tap on that and then as you can see I have two that pop up here but on the very top one there it says Roku or Roku streaming stick and you tap on that it'll ask for a code and then on my screen here you'll see where it says a four digit code I'm going to type that code into my iPhone. Okay now that it's typed in you'll see on my iPhone there's a check mark next to where it says Roku streaming stick and then on my TV you'll see where it's mirroring exactly what's on my iPhone and then to stop mirroring you just go down to where it says stop mirroring and then stop it that way so okay now here's the beauty once you are connected I jumped over to the YouTube app here to play one of my YouTube videos I have the phone tilted in vertical mode and it's already playing in landscape mode on the screen. So it's not like I have to tilt my phone into landscape mode. It automatically detects it and puts it in landscape mode on the screen. And here's the other wonderful thing is the volume is or volume is coming out of the TV instead of the, the phone because some of these third party applications, it would come out through the phone. Let me show you. Subscribe to my channel. And that's what I'm trying to get you to do right now. Hi, my name is Juan and I make videos on a weekly basis on one of the things that I'm very passionate about, All right. and that is tech. I hit pause on there, but as you can see, it works all with your phone onto your TV. I love Apple AirPlay. Okay, next up I'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this on your Amazon Fire Stick. Okay, so here's a step-by-step -step instructions on how to mirror anything that you got going on on your iPhone to 
your fire TV right here, so, or your fire stick. So well, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go over to, go over to your magnifying glass over here, and then you're gonna wanna type in A power mirror. Okay, and it comes up right here, A power mirror, and you should get that icon that looks, that's right there. A power mirror, go ahead and click on that. Okay, and it'll take you to this screen here, and then you'll go ahead and click OK on your remote control to download it. Now it'll get queued, and depending on your Wi-Fi speed is how fast it'll download. All right, then it'll start installing. Okay, once it's installed, go ahead and click Open. Okay, and it'll take you to this screen here. Uh, you have to allow access of A-Power Mirror to access your photos, media, and files on your device. So just go ahead and click on Allow. All right, so now once you get to this screen here, to mirror your phone, well, first it gives you some different options to do video mirroring, phone mirroring. Uh, if you have a PC, you can mirror that way, scan to connect and settings. But we're gonna go to the second tab right here where it says phone screen mirroring. And then click on that. It'll take you to this QR code over here on the left. All you wanna do is just open up the uh, picture taking app on your iPhone and then go over and scan it and then as soon as you scan it up here at the top it'll have the QR code reader so you just tap on that and it'll automatically take you to your iPhone so that way you can download the A power mirroring screen app so click on it to download it alright and then we'll go ahead and click open alright now I ask you a question A power mirror would like to find and connect devices on your local network, uh, you want to click OK because both of these have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. All right, so it's asking for network permission and location permission. Just go ahead and click on continue. And then allow while using app. OK, so there it goes. And now it's recognizing your Wi-Fi connection. Next thing we want to do is click on that middle button where it says mirror. And now it's searching for your Wi-Fi network. And then it's got an icon here that says A Power Mirror. Okay, next, what you want to do is uh, swipe down on the top right corner of your iPhone just like this. It'll bring up all these different options. And then right there in the middle, you'll see where it says Screen Mirroring. You'll tap on that. And as you can see right here at the very top, it's got A Power Soft. And that is what is powering or talking with the app that you just downloaded on your Fire Stick. So then you just click on that, it'll load up, and as you can see, we are now mirroring directly to the TV. So I'll give you guys a quick little test of how this works. Oh, also, if you do want to stop mirroring, you'll just swipe down the bottom or the top right and click on that stop mirroring button right there. But let's go ahead and play something from my camera roll. I will um, play a video that I recorded. Okay, here's the test video that I recorded with my dog. And it's playing directly from my phone right to the TV, just like that. And the great thing is the sound is coming from the TV and not from the phone. So there you go. That's how you mirror your iPhone to your Fire Stick. All right, so if this video was helpful to you guys, go ahead and click a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.